Hi, I'm Tom Diamond with RS Metrics, and in the next two to three minutes, I'm going to show you what is happening with global aluminum production and storage in the U.S., China, and Russia, which has become front page news after the recent U.S. tariffs on steel and aluminum. RS Metrics measures production at hundreds of global aluminum, copper, and zinc smelters and storage facilities, such as this example of Castleton's Braithwaite aluminum storage location in New Orleans. RS Metrics has seen steady growth in aluminum stocks stored outside of Braithwaite for over a year as they've anticipated the aluminum price increases that we see today. And the image here is from 314. We also have images just in the last week showing what's going on there today. Another example is the Roussel Bratsk smelter that has been in the news recently due to sanctions on Roussel aluminum. But in fact, rather than pumping out lots of aluminum, the Roussel Bratsk smelter has been slowing production for over a year and is only at about half of where it was in 2016 and 17, in early 17. And it's a similar story for other major Russian aluminum smelters like the Volgograd smelter, which also peaked in 16 has been coming down. When we look at all global aluminum smelters rolled up, we currently track over 100, we can see what might be surprising trends to some. Uh, when we break it out, looking at China versus the US, for example, China aluminum smelter production has been dropping since early 2017. And similar to Russia, China has been operating at about half capacity for a while now. The US aluminum smelter production has been almost flat or declining during the same period. And we'll see how that turns around in April as we are seeing signs of growth with partial data so far. So how is this useful day to day as you're looking at metals prices and forecasting. Let's look at the Metal Signals app. And on the dashboard, you can see tiles that show trends for individual smelter, or you can flip to storage locations, look at any metal. If we look at, for example, this China aluminum smelter Baotao, uh, at a glance, you can see a red sig that it's red signals, meaning things are down there. And you can see the detail of the actual alu uh, aluminum that's put outside. And this is very valuable for fundamental analysts and industry participants to see what's happening at these locations. It's like turning on the lights in a dark room. Suddenly you can see everything and see who is producing and producing what. But even more obvious is the value of the data when it's rolled up. It's very predictive of price and inventory. And for example, if we look at rolled up numbers for all of the aluminum smelters we track, all the copper, all the zinc smelters and storage sites. We can see, for example, with aluminum, we can look year over year and see monthly growth and change year over year here since 2014. And we look kind of at the quarterly trends. And when this blue line is below this channel, that means that production is lower and there should be a positive signal for price. And when the blue line is above the channel, it means that production is higher and there should be a negative signal for price. And you can see the predictiveness of those signals by overlaying them on LME, aluminum price. Red down, green up. And over here is the huge spike in price from the recent Roussel sanctions. And we will see, literally, with satellite imagery, how all this plays out in the weeks and months ahead. I hope that was helpful and interesting. Please contact us for more information about metal signals and subscribing to the dataset and app. Thank you.